All right, Nurse, hand me a scalpel. Cotton swab. Oh, hey, whiz kids. Dr. Emily and Nurse Claire here to tell you about the first heart transplant. On December 3rd, 1967, the first heart transplant was operated on a man named Louis Wachkinski by a surgeon named Christian Bernard. The surgery was success, but medications that were given to Louis Wachkinski to prevent his immune system to attacking the heart also suppressed his body's ability to fight off other illnesses. Eighteen days after the operation, Louis Wachkinski died of double pneumonia. Doctor, I think we're a little too late for this one. I think you may be right. I'm Dr. Emily. And I'm Nurse Claire. Here reporting for WKPN. Back to you, anchors. Woo! Kindle here, and this is a dirty job. I never realized how much trash we produce. And who has to clean it up? Our wonderful custodians, that's who. Some of their jobs include sweeping the floors, cleaning the tables, emptying the garbage cans, and they even have to clean the toilets. Ew! This job can wait. Let's meet our custodians now. Miss Deborah arrives early in the morning to clean the media center. After lunch, you can find her cleaning the cafeteria and she does yard work in between. She has been here for six years. Miss Maria has been here for four years. She cleans the first and third grade rooms. Mr. Ralph is the head of the custodial staff. He has been here since the school opened eight years ago. He can be found in the kindergarten rooms, first grade, and the music room. Miss Stephanie, who has been here for seven years, and Miss Nori, who has been here for three years, make sure second, fourth, and fifth grade wings are nice and clean for the students and teachers. I have my trusty gloves. I guess I need to get back to this potty so it'll be nice and sparkling for you tomorrow. Be sure and thank the custodians for all their hard work. I'm Kendall, reporting for WKPN. Kaylin here on the banks of the great Mississippi. I love lazy days and fishing. This reminds me of two other characters that enjoyed fishing too. Can you guess who they are? I'll be right back. Do you know who these characters are? They're Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. And Mark Twain is the author of this great book. And today is his birthday. Mark Twain whose real name is Samuel Clemens, was born on November 30, 1835, in Florida, Missouri. He had five other brothers and sisters. Along with writing his famous stories, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, he also wrote The Prince and the Pauper. Mark Twain died April 21, 1910, at the age of 74. You can find the story The Prince and the Pauper, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn in the Great Illustrated Classic series on shelf five in the library. Mark Twain is a great author and people still enjoy reading his books today. Ooh, ooh, I think I've got a fish on the line. I've got to go check it out. I'm Kaylin reporting for WKPN. Whiz kids, do you know what today is? It's Ghost Day. Ghosts are the most classic Halloween costume and a classic character in movies, TV shows, and even a haunted mansion ride at Disney World. Ghosts are usually known to live in haunted houses and graveyards. <laughs> there are several ghost books in our library, such as The Ghost of the Grand Canyon. Ghosts don't ride wild horses. The Ghosts of Pickpocket Plantation. 
good night for ghosts. And the ghosts in Amityville. So this Halloween, pay attention, because one might smile right at you. I'm the ghost of Wagner, and I should be fading on out of here. Germs, they're everywhere. They sure can make you sick. <coughs> you can find them on computer mouses, doorknobs, desk, and even on your hands. <coughs> I'm here to tell you some ways how you can keep healthy and germ-free here at school. The first step is to always wash your hands before eating, after using the restroom, and after playing outside. Remember, Germs can hide anywhere. If you happen to get sick with a cold or a flu, make sure you always sneeze into a Kleenex, cough into your elbow, and again, always wash your hands. Another way you can stay healthy is to get lots of sleep, drink plenty of water, and eat healthy fruits and vegetables. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I'm Nick, reporting for WKPN. Thanks, Thing One and Cat in the Hat. This library has many interesting books about Dr. Seuss in the biography section. Did you know? As a boy, he loved to tell stories and draw pictures of silly animals. In college, he wrote for the school's magazine and newspaper. His first book, and the thing I saw it on Mulberry Street, went along with the rhythm of the ship's engine that he was on. Many books follow. He made up words such as oobleck and globity globe and animals and people, such as Barbaloots, Tweedle Beetle, and Zook. He loved being silly and changed book writing for children in the process. I'm Thing 2, reporting for your WKPN. Emily here with our E-Team. They study economics, math, science, language arts, and social studies. Along with Mr. Borchers, their sponsor, we have Kaylin Sampson, Darlene Alonso, Justin Garcia, McKaylee Carlson, Nick Diaz, and Devin Howard. Their competition is today at Scott Lake Elementary. Let's see what their thoughts are on their upcoming competition. Nervous but exciting. I feel a little nervous, but I think we'll do a good job in the competition. Eti, we wish you well. I'm Emily reporting for WKPN. Samiki here. I don't like green eggs and ham. Luckily, it's not on today's menu, but we are having something green. For today's lunch, you are having baked chicken, mashed potatoes, steamed broccoli, fresh fruit, hot roll, and milk. And tomorrow's breakfast will be breakfast pizza, fresh fruit, and milk. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. I enjoyed reading the foot book many times. Feet are used plenty during PE for running, kicking, jumping, and more. Today, we are using our feet for playing GoBots. Be kind to your feet. I'm Morgan, reporting for WKPN. Katie here. I love to go to our spirit nights, and it just so happens that this Thursday is one of our spirit nights at Be Fair Brady's. Come for fun, food, and fellowship. Remember, our school gets money for your attendance. Maybe Cat in the Hat Thing 1 and Thing 2 could come with me. Hope to see you there. I'm Katie reporting for WKPN.